Good morning, Phoenix Typewriter here. We're going to look at this Macrona I just purchased. Cheap, but it's a wreck. The case is smashed. The feet are missing. The back hinge is rusted. The foot's missing. But the machine is also broken, but we're going to try to fix it on the camera here. The carriage just moves by itself over, so let's get this out of the case here. Oh boy. Even the latch down here is, is, is messed up. Huh. Let's see what the heck's wrong with this. This little pin's supposed to go up. Wow. Oh boy. Okay, well. Let's set this over here. Looks like it's just. Look at that. It's just super rusted, the whole, this whole thing. Holy smoke. does here. Okay, I'm hoping this is fixable because it's a nice looking Galaxy 12. Yeah, let's see if we can get this. It's not power space. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that's probably just sticky parts. Let's pop the bottom off here and take a look see. So it's just a couple screws here. Got the bottom panel off. And we're going to see what's the matter here. Even these screws are, are rusty. Look at that, it's got rust on them. That's not a good sign. Oops. That is part of the uh, power spacer. That piece, that piece goes right there. And this either... These get cracked. I don't see it. it. Doesn't look cracked. Looks like maybe it just backed out of there. So maybe that's part of the problem. Let's see. Okay, there it goes. Free, free forming, free falling. Oh, jeez, look at this. This part is just. It's. Binding on the case. Boy, that doesn't feel right. do this in once in a while. Let's see. Right, let's look closely in here. It looks like that paw that paw is sticking right here. See that paw? It should spring back every time. Right there just like that. It should spring back. It's not springing back. There's actually Something right there, some kind of rust or a little oil or something. So let's try just quickly. Let's black your thing around here. Get the brush. 
brush on here. Let's see if that does anything. Okay, so it's, it's bringing back now. So now it's springing back. See that? Let's try the other paw here. Okay, that's moving freely. Okay, so maybe that was just it. It was just sticking. Looks like that piece of rubber is missing right here on this edge, but that's probably okay. I'm pretty sure this has a silencer in this model, but I don't. No, it doesn't have a silencer because this arm, see this escapement arm paw right here? If it had a silencer, this piece right there would be longer. Right there, that, that stubby piece right there. That would be longer and there would be a wire pulling this out of the way. But this does not have a, it's not that style. Okay, well that's that's gonna solve that problem. Let's uh, let's put this this back into place here. Put that uh, put this guy back in here. So this goes in there, and screws. It's got threads right there. So wanna, oh, there we go. Okay. It should screw right back in there. Just like that. Okay, so that's back in place. And let's see if it works. If that was it. So I'll be power space works. It sure does make a lot of grinding noise. way back, but looks like she's, as far as that goes, still got to work on the space bar, it's, it's loose or something here. silencer on it. I don't know if I can modify a di different escapement in here or something. I don't think it should make that noise. What is that? Part of the uh, it's part of the power spacer. So I move this up. It's not touching. 
but as soon as I let it down, it rubs. So this piece is in the wrong position. It's in the wrong home position. It should be more level here. It needs to be up. this right here. There, that's better. That's rough. I'll move this up. So there's two clicks. One of them is escapement right there. And then this one is... You can actually see this piece move by itself. It shouldn't be moving. Well, I'm not sure how to get this. Mm -hmm back into place besides this rubber pieces the problem is okay, I have a little theory I think it's been sitting on this back and this rubber piece is just from age sitting down a little too far this should be up like that so Maybe we can reverse that. Let's see if this comes off of here. Let this piece pulled out of this bracket here. I don't know. Does it look like it wants to come out? You see how that's that's got a curve down. This should, this should be up piece like that. So I want to see if I can get this out. I don't know if that comes out. If it does, it doesn't look that easy to do. Let's see if I can pull this thing out of here. It's glued in here. Looks like it wants to go. Let's see if I can get persuasion in here. I don't know if I've ever had one of these off. But I think it's must be attached somehow. There it goes. Okay, so it's in there that way. I'm going to flip it this way. It's, it actually has some rust on it. Look at that. Alright, I'm going to stick back on. Come on. Let's get it back in there. <laughs> a tough fit there. Let's see. Oh boy. That's going to be it going to be a tough fit. Let's get these little spikes on here. So what was keeping it from uh, coming off so easily. Hmm. Alright, let's try something else. Let's try a bigger pair of pliers. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now that piece is... We'll put that back in here. Let's see if that does... Let's see if that does a trick. No, no, it's still... hanging low or hanging you know I think I think this piece is bent I don't think 
right there. This looks like it's should be straight. Doesn't look like it is. All right, let me tighten this up a little more. Maybe it's just loose. Tighter, but it doesn't uh, doesn't work now. Okay, so this can't be too tight. We're gonna have to. This nut a little bit like that. Just a couple turn, about one turn tighter. thread this thing. The cross threads it's going to be going to be ruined. So I'm going to start. Hmm. My problem starting before. So now I took that nut and ran one more thread down so it has a it's not it's not in there properly. Oh sh shoot. It's got a crack in it or something. Okay, let's try that. It's still touch. You can see this piece move still. Gonna return. Hard to see it move, but it shouldn't be moving when I hit the character turn. See, see it move just a little bit. That is not supposed to be moving because it's touching. Still needs to go up. Understand what's happening here exactly.
few weeks ago. Not, not just up, but in, down, down there further, like, like, down like this. So this arm pushes it down. This looks a little tweaked right here. That's part of that's part of a space bar. No, trip. No. Is that connected to down there? margin release yep. okay so this piece needs to go That's funny. It pulls the uh, it pulls the margin release when you see that that black lever back here is a margin release. It pulls that. Okay, I'm gonna form this lever down a little further. That's gonna be my uh, first attempt here at an adjustment. So I'm going to just give this a little, a little downward tweak, like that, right there. Look at that! Look at that! That just did it. Let's see if it still works. All right. So that was it. This piece needed to go down, in, inward a little further, and I adjusted this arm to push the edge there down just a little far, just a little bit. There we go. That sounds better. Okay, so, to review, the paw here was sticking, oops, which is pretty common, this paw right there seems to be okay and the uh, gizmo was out of place and we got this arm sitting so it's it goes down a little further now when it activates it moves up and resets out of the way of finding this excellent so we got this one resolved All right, not too bad. Next step is to start the cleanup process. So, have a great day.